Well, the process started uh, with meeting Osages because when we looked at the old strategic plan, it talked about um, 25 years and actually being involved in everything. We could we saw very quickly that some of the items in that strategic plan we had achieved, and some we were quite a ways from achieving. It just seemed like there was a, 25 years was a long time. Where do we start? Well, at the same time, we all said, well, we got to start with the people. This whole strategic plan talks about the will of the people, and we're going to build from that when you go talk to the people. So I asked uh, our strategic planning office to um, set up those necessary needs, and we just started going out to different places in the country and here locally and among our employees. 16 input meetings where we got input to develop the survey questions and uh, we got great response every place we went. And Chief went with us to all of those meetings but one and the assistant chief came to the one in Houston that Chief couldn't make and we had amazing interest. Uh, they were so happy that we were reaching out to them as we, we sent the survey out in May and uh, that was online and we mailed to 14,000 plus Osages to answer if with a self-addressed return envelope if they wanted to. We did uh, seven webinars which were not face-to-face -face, but we had really good participation in that and those were by the time zones across the U.S. and we also did one just for college students and uh, then here we also did an outreach meeting uh, at the three districts as well as Tulsa and Oklahoma City. We had a great turnout, a huge crowd in Tulsa and a huge crowd in Oklahoma City. You know, coming from the 31st Tribal Council and the way that we used to operate, going out and having community meetings, I felt like that was successful. Um, I always recognize our strategic plan and I like to make sure that, that the government is, is following that. And although I'm just one person, I thought, you know what, I, I really want to, I want to address and respond to this because that constitution, you know, that we have is really, it's about the will of the people. So some of the discussions that we've had are working with, of course, the executive branch and starting to talk about the, about the strategic plan and what do we need to do you know, dually, both branches, because, you know, our job's to appropriate. And so I think these discussions need to happen. I want to make sure that those requests are coming down that follow that strategic plan. And so far, that's what I'm seeing. Um, and of course, you know, we're limited on our, on our resources. Um, so that's those discussions that we need to have. How are we going to appropriate dollars to uphold this plan? The results uh, were some were predictable, uh, some uh, were very instructive, uh, some was a little bit of a surprise. I was surprised to see how many people out there were just fine with us making this place a priority. Stronger language programs, stronger uh, STEM or STEAM programs for the children here. Everybody's just fine with it. Uh, so the plan is to make those tough decisions, have the Osage Congress agree as much as we can hope for, and uh, start going forward. And then it is measuring success. The strategic plan, my thinking, is coming at just the right time. So where this new generation of Osages who are taking control of these movements and these activities. And in my time and my generation, we can step back and say, okay, now our job is just support. And, and then they run into difficulties, um, they can come to us and we can step in and take care of it. Through, and this is how it's working. But most of it is them, they're taking care of it. It's really good to see.